Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will talk about the drop-in for a flashlight from internationaloutdoor.com That's a website based in China where they offer a bit more specified drop-ins for the surefire style of flashlight. Uh, what I did want to do is basically upgrade the next torch P6. I'm gonna link the video on that older next torch video in the description. Uh, it's basically uh, 18650 that you can recharge with this body. It has the, the plug in so you can charge it wherever you are. And of course the the drop-in that they used was a surefire style as well so it's simple to change the color or the output on the flashlights and that is where that international outdoor company drop-in came in handy and we're gonna talk a bit about about uh, that experience there uh, first uh, the next torch flashlight was pretty good usable how it is with that older drop in here uh, about 140 lumens but it has a lot of throw so it isn't actually that bad as expected as you hear the number 140 lumens you would say that is absolute uh, yeah in 2014 that is absolute uh, dim but uh, somehow the, the drop in that I got was on a pretty white color on a pretty bright side and the throw was really good so I'm not gonna take that that drop in uh, out and throw it away I'm gonna use that on a cheaper uh, flashlight or put it a bit in storage so that the, the collectible the next torch all the next torch be still complete as it is originally so the New drop-in did arrive in this container that is pretty nice for storage. Uh, looks a bit like like an old uh, film film box from older cameras back then. Really, really good because sometimes from China, as I did order the other drop-ins, they simply wrap it and it can get damaged. So that was pretty good feature from start. Then the drop-in itself. The reflector is a uh, smooth and we see the LED there as well. I'm gonna show a bit on the paperwork what I did select. On the back side we see some electrical parts and in the middle is a spring and outside is the spring. The middle spring I needed to make a little bit longer because we see the, the difference in length. So it needed to have a good connection, a good contact with the 18650 that spring a bit longer. But that is usually with with uh, such such uh, drop pins. But uh, other than that, I can say that the the reflector is still only screwed on. Uh, it's a bit yeah cheap in this fashion but I gonna put a bit Loctite on it that should work for a while and once it is in the flashlight then that can't unscrew uh, pretty much all the drop-ins that I ever had were like this yeah the, yeah, the one the original one is quite likely glued in but uh, usually you can unscrew them like that so let's come to the technical informations. What I did like a lot about that company there, what they offered on the, the website is not only the, the price, it also is what they advise for, that they have a pretty good heatsink and also the features what we could select the LED is a Cree XML2 and then we have a copper core the aluminum reflector the brass pill the voltage of course and 
no high pitch noise that I agree I did not hear anything no visible flicker on any mode there I currently don't agree I did already contact the manufacturer that uh, we have a flicker and I'm gonna show that in a minute the memory function works and there uh, the gold plated springs I saw as well then it has a low voltage protection that it will go to the low mode and also flash nine times pre or you get cut off any light uh, that is uh, pretty important not that like many other flashlight cheap flashlight they simply shut off on usually the worst moment and then you have it so what I did or could select what were these versions here as well I did go with the uh, cool white and then the reflector I got a, a smooth one not orange peel but that would have be all possible and especially here the modes what all the, the modes are possible I did go with four modes that fits the needs that I have most uh, we have the firefly and then we have the low medium and high but uh, all all of these modes could be combined with the reflector and with the LED and tint that is a really really nice selection what would have be possible for a low price and uh, that is what I did like so far the most on that item here then as you put it in you simply unscrew the head take out the other drop in that goes simply back in and you screw it together and this is basically with all the the different host whatever it is it's that simple so we see here already the firefly modus and there I hope the camera see it is already a bit of that flickering it's of course a bit on the bright side here hopefully yeah the camera see it it flickers there a little bit and it's not even an even flickering it changes a bit how it feels so that's the the negative that needs to to go away we see what the what the manufacturer uh, say then we have medium high and that is the I mean the high we had low medium and high this is about 2000 lumens and as we started the memory goes back into the last one that we did select so for me that is pretty nice the Firefly models I use a lot uh, that uses so little battery from the 18650 if that is enough light for you to go on the restroom for fee find a, a, a keyhole or do do other smaller tasks that is really good and then you can always quick switch with in this case the side button just tap it a little bit to low and then again to medium and high and by high we have a pretty good throw with those thousand lumens and the smooth reflector that works out really well so the next step what I gonna get is a diffuser a diffuser cap for in front of it I need to look a bit about the size of the the head that it fits uh, because that would make then absolute sense to to have the uh, the low and the medium a bit with the diffuser to illuminate a bit more the closer range but wider area as well this video also gives a bit an example about a flashlight that maybe is outdated with 140 lumens and that is not that much information out there that that actually use a surefire drop-in but uh, if you look around you find pretty good deals at least in USA that you can 
upgrade pretty simple pretty easy for a low price and then you have a up-to-date flashlight for a really good price with the side switch with the charging feature on this uh, older next torch and the drop-in can be changed all the time if I want to use the same drop-in in a different flashlight that has the, the surefire system that will work if I need a orange or a, another color filter I can put a filter in front of it and there are drop-ins in ultraviolet in green in red in a blue LED even the infrared ones are around as a drop-in so it's as simple as I did show you take the head apart you have the, the other drop-in put it in and that's it so you can basically save a lot of weight if like a sample if if I had the diffuser already for that flashlight and a second drop-in in a like a red LED color that would be a really compact set together with the with the charger that I can even charge the 186050 battery inside the flashlight here so I would not have to, the need of carrying a charger with me too so that much about the international outdoor drop-in where you can select some of the features however you wanna wanna have it for a more personalized drop-in uh, there are many variants possible and I'm sure you find one that fits your needs as well 